it's easy to take modern machines for granted. Just look back in time and you appreciate what we have now. For thousands of years, mankind relied on trained animals to do the grunt work of moving a load from point A to point B. That job became a whole lot easier when the forklift was introduced early in the 20th century. And maybe the best part, you didn't have to clean up after it with a shovel. A few years later, the hand pallet jack was invented. With it, a worker could move a pallet of materials in tight spaces where a forklift would never fit. Eventually, somebody came up with the bright idea of putting an electric motor on a pallet jack. It changed the way we move heavy loads by combining the power of a motorized forklift with the convenience and maneuverability of a hand pallet jack. Today, these useful machines can be found all across the country. In some workplaces, they even outnumber forklifts. They're popular because they can get into spaces where forklifts can't go. And if the work requires frequent stops, they're more convenient than a forklift because they're designed to allow the operator to easily start and stop and walk away from the unit without having to unbuckle a seatbelt. The lift height and weight capacity for motorized pallet jacks vary by manufacturer and model, but most can lift a load as high as six inches off the ground and can carry as much as 8,000 pounds. They're known by lots of different names. Depending on where you live and work, you might call these machines electric pallet trucks or motorized hand trucks. In this video, we'll refer to them as motorized pallet jacks or simply pallet jacks. Specifically, we're going to talk about motorized pallet jack safety. We'll start with the importance of training. Then we'll cover the basic operations and controls of the two most common types of motorized pallet jacks, walkies. There are many models of motorized pallet jacks offered by different manufacturers. From one to the next, the controls, features, and functions will vary. Even though we can't demonstrate every model of motorized pallet jack in this video, we can discuss operational basics common to most of these machines. So, our focus will be on the two main types of motorized pallet jacks, walkies and walkie riders. Walkies can be operated as you walk either ahead of the pallet jack or behind it. They're not designed to ride on. Walkie riders, also known as rider jacks, can be operated from the operator's platform or from the floor. Unfortunate as it is, accidents sometimes happen when people operate motorized pallet jacks. And usually, it comes down to the operator. They're either not following safe procedures or not familiar with the controls of a specific model. What kind of accidents are we talking about? Here are some of the most common. A pedestrian is hit by a falling load because the load is unsecured, unstable, or the operator takes a turn too fast. A pedestrian gets caught between a pallet jack and a fixed object. Unfortunately, the accidents we just viewed happen far too frequently. Once you've been trained and authorized to operate a motorized pallet jack, it's your responsibility to practice safe operating procedures. And it all starts with a pre-use inspection. OSHA requires that all powered industrial trucks, including motorized pallet jacks, be examined at least daily before being placed into service. If the pallet jack is used on a round-the-clock basis, it needs to be examined after every shift. Follow the manufacturer's instructions and your employer's checklist. In general, begin with a pre-start visual check with the power off. Do a visual examination of your pallet jack and remove any items that could fall off during operation, such as tools, gloves, or other equipment. Now that you've completed your pre-use inspection, you're ready to start moving loads. Always wear proper foot protection and other protective gear as specified by your company. To prevent slipping, make sure your hands are clean and dry and that there's no grease on your shoes. Now let's say you approach a load and this is what you see. Just because someone managed to stack a load onto a pallet doesn't mean it's safe for you to move it. If you're not sure whether the load is too heavy or too large for your pallet jack, don't hesitate to ask for help. Plan your route ahead of time before traveling with a load. Make sure there are no obstructions that might present a hazard. For walking models, position yourself so you have clear visibility and face the direction of travel. 
whenever you can, have the load trailing behind. This will give you more steering control and allow you to watch for uneven floor surfaces and other obstacles. When operating with the forks trailing, always have one hand on the controls. Use the hand closest to the pallet jack to operate the control handle. When possible, walk ahead and to the side of the unit when traveling forward. Walkie rider models are similar to walkies, but can also be operated from a platform built into the unit. Great for when you have to travel long distances. On most walkie riders, you primarily travel with the forks trailing, except when picking up or dropping off a load, or entering enclosed spaces like truck trailers. When you're operating a motorized pallet jack on ramps and inclines, there are special considerations to keep in mind. First of all, be extra careful and travel slowly. Don't angle the pallet jack or make any turns while it's on an incline. When walking with a pallet jack, travel with the load end downhill. If the load restricts visibility or requires the backrest to support the load, travel down the grade with extreme caution. Keep the load end uphill and position yourself off to one side. Take your time. There's nothing so important that it's worth risking safety. Now that you've arrived at the drop-off location, it's time to deliver the load. Carefully steer the load into place using both hands. Come to a complete stop before lowering the load. Feet can be crushed when forks are lowered, so make sure your feet and everyone else's are safely out of the way. Lower the forks and look carefully as you're pulling out, watching for pedestrians or objects such as racks. Motorized pallet jacks are great tools. They're economical and maneuverable, especially in congested areas, but they always have to be operated with care. Before you step up to the controls, make sure you're familiar and comfortable with the controls and know the load capacities and limitations of the model you're about to operate. Also, follow the manufacturer's operating instructions for each piece of equipment that you use and practice safe operating techniques every time.